Hey guys, it's Pierre Venom bringing you another video. So, like I said, I am working on my archive storage, uh, getting away from the server that I uh, currently own to these two terabyte inland premium drives. So, they are a single sided M.2. Currently, they are using the Fizen controller, the same Toshiba memory. Of course, it's just larger. Uh, but as of right now, they're the best priced NVMe to terabyte drives that are not uh, Q, uh, a QLC. Um, so the quad light layer, they're tri-layer. Uh, tri so you are getting really good performances off of them. Not only that, but these new ones actually have the much newer firmware. So the firmware that's currently written on these guys is actually 13.1. From what I can see, there's not really much of a performance improvement uh, unless they did some temperature tweaking because I have noticed that the temperatures are significantly better. Uh, this is the one terabyte. Currently, it's at 42, uh, 41, 42. It hovers right around there. At load, it's between about 50 and 60, like I said in my previous review. Uh, but as you can see, firmware is 12.2. This is actually 13.1. So. I really haven't been able to find much information on the 13.1 firmware. It's most likely due to something with uh, cache and also just general storage of the drive. Uh, in the short time that I've already had the drive, I've already written over a terabyte to it. Uh, I was doing some speed tests. I wanted to see how fast this thing was uh, transferring data and also uh, getting it shot across my network. I was able to get this done at like 275 gigs over the air, a little over an hour. I think it was two hours total. So it didn't take me too long to get all that data over. Now, with this drive, of course, I have done performance numbers. Really, there's not much of a difference. Uh, so like I said, I'll pull them up here. So this is the actual um, Crystal Dismart. Uh, the area where you're actually going to notice most of your difference is going to be the Q depths of 8. So sequential reads and writes, it's all the same. The Q-depths of 8, though, uh, there is a small improvement, most likely because it's either using a larger cache for the caching drive, uh, for the caching portion, uh, or they are, because of the firmware, it is a little bit more efficient uh, in these levels. Once again, I do also have uh, the Atto benchmarks. There's really no difference with them at all. Uh, the Windows drive and also the archivable drive that I have, they are pretty much neck and neck with each other, marginal differences. I wouldn't say it's anything drastic. So th the drive is great. I absolutely love it. It's currently right now sitting in the um, ASUS Hyper M.2 uh, expansion card. So it gives me four more M.2 lanes that I can work off of. Currently, I have one that I'm using. I do have it in bifurcation mode, so it does break that 16x lane uh, to a 4x4x4x4. Four by four by four by four. Makes it a little bit easier for the uh, drives to work more efficiently instead of just leaving it as a full 16x lane and letting the card do the cutting. Now, I do plan on eventually looking into the rating portion of the uh, rating these drives just to see how much performance I can get. Also, since it's RAID on CPU, uh, so AMD's virtual RAID on CPU, it's actually going to give me a little bit extra performance because it's a direct interconnect to the chipset itself, or the, I should say the chip itself, not the chipset. Uh, but from there, I've really been enjoying just having all my local storage, all my local media. I don't have to go to the archive drive. All I do is I go to my Intel 750 dot drive where I pretty much scratch everything, move it all over, and then I don't have to worry about anything from there. If I need to pull footage or anything like that, so finished clips, finished videos, I have the capability of going in there, ripping it immediately, putting it in uh, to DaVinci because I, I do use DaVinci Resolve, um, as you guys can barely see. Uh, probably down near the logos down here somewhere. Yeah, DaVinci's down there. Uh, but it, it's, it's nice to have. Plus, it's one less thing that I get to knock off my energy bill because 
Was I using it effectively? No. Is it a Windows operating system that I have to keep up with? Yes. Do I have to do Windows updates on it? I do them every two months, three months. And at that, you know, I have to have antivirus on it because of it is connected to the internet. So if I do need to pull things outside, I have the ability. So I am currently right now enjoying uh, all this local storage. It's currently right now, I think in the system alone, I have my file manager up over here. Uh, what is it? I'm looking at a terabyte for my C, 500 gigs for my game drive, another terab 1.2 terabytes, I should say, for my Intel 750, my backup drive, um, what's going to be mainly uh, my stream storage. So that's where I'm going to back up all those streams that I'm going to be doing here shortly. And then, uh, like I said, I have my archivable storage. So I have two ter almost three, ter almost 300 gigs used on there. Um, but I have been testing it out enough so I can tell you guys that, hey, you know, I've already written a terabyte to the drive and it is very quick. Um, I think anywhere between one to 1.5 gigs. Uh, now, once again, this folder here is a little bit weird because it's got a lot of small files, but would I recommend the drive? Yes, I would totally recommend the two terabyte drive. If you're just looking for archivable storage or if you're looking for a game drive or something like that for $220, it's totally worth it. So if you have a micro center nearby, I do recommend picking them up. Just like I said with the one terabyte, uh, these drives are pretty much just an MP510 uh, with different type of allocations done to them uh, because I do know the MP510 uses 1.92 gigs, uh, 1.92 terabytes, sorry, compared to the two terabyte drive that this is. So it's generally just a basic Fizing uh, reference board, so it's no different than anything else. But like always, like, subscribe, uh, link down below. Uh, so if you do have any questions, comment down below also. And then I will be getting more DEX videos out. Looks like you guys really enjoy it. And of course, have a great one.